In most programs that you'll write, you'll need to make decisions based on the current values of certain variables. Logical variables can be very useful for this and they can have one of two possible values, 0 for false or 1 for true. Relational operators allow you to compare numbers and characters. When a relational operator is used to compare two values, the result is a logical value, 0 for false or 1 for true. So in this example here, we ask the question, is 5 equal to 7? This is false or 0. You can compare the values stored in variables as well. So in this example, a is 4, b is 3, and we ask the question, is a greater than b? This is true or 1. And we can store this value in a variable by saying say, c is equal to a greater than b. Logical operators allow you to compare logical data, and we have three of them, and, or, and not. The and and or operators follow the rules of Boolean logic. So a true and a true statement will yield a true. However, true and false, false and true, false and false will all yield false. True or true, true or false, false or true will all yield true. However, false or false will yield false. The not operator converts true to false and vice versa. So it takes a true statement and makes it false, or it takes a false statement and makes it true. Let's go through some examples. We'll say x is equal to 5, y is equal to 6, z is equal to 7. So is x greater than y? False. 5 is not greater than y. But if we said x less than y, is that true? It is. Notice that we use a double equal sign when we want to ask the question, is a particular value equal to another value? In this case, is y equal to z? It is not. We can create a logical variable, let's call it t, by assigning it a value of a logical uh, operation or logical statement. So x greater than y, as we've seen earlier, that's false, and the value 0 will be stored in t. If we say whose, we'll notice that t is a logical variable. We can put whatever we want on the left and right side of a relational operator. So let's say t is equal to x plus 1, and we're going to ask, is that equal to y to the z power? It is false, and that value is stored in t. Now let's look at some logical operators. So we know from before that x greater than y is false, x less than y is true, so let's ask the question, x less than y, that's true. If we use the AND operator and we say uh, x is greater than y, we get a false because the left side is true but the right side is false. If we said is x greater than 1, then this entire expression gives us a true because x is greater than 1, that's true, x less than y, that is also true. So true and true makes a true. If we went back and asked the question x less than y or x greater than y, left side is true, right side is false, but only one has to be true in order for the whole expression to be true. Let's set t equal to this value. So now t is true. If we said not t, it would give us a false, because it takes a true thing and makes it false. The value of t is still true. If we want to permanently change the value of t, we can say t is equal to not t, and now t has a value of 0. 
In the next lecture, we'll be looking at how to use these logical expressions in if statements.